It is Friday, October 21st. We are in the hotel room, thank God. And yesterday was kind of just for exploring and walking around. Today, it's a weird sound. Today is for um, actually going to the convention, going to some talk. All right, so Josh and I are on our way to the creepery. We have been by other people's rooms and knocked. We've texted. Either they're asleep or they're somewhere else. <laughs> the crepery is closed. Sad, I really wanted crepes. But, you know, it's okay. We'll just have to go adventure off. Oh, bon pain. It's good bread, right? In French? Josh has no idea. I think it means the good bread. I've got some hard choices. I've got some hard choices and I've got maybe 15 minutes, more like probably 10 minutes to decide before I have to head down to the proper room. Washington, 77 degrees. So everybody else went to Qdoba, but Muna and I, we stopped at a food truck, got some good food, falafel. And it is T minus 30 minutes until Bob Woodward's talk. So I am really excited about it and just kind of chilling out my room uh, until it happens. I'm watching Doctor Who because yes. Okay, so what you are here for, Bob Woodward. Um, thank you for inviting me. Uh, uh, what I was thinking about last night is uh, if I were in your uh, see what would I like to hear and I thought I'm going to try to single out 10 stories or experiences or things uh, over 45 years of trying to do this I, I think might relate to the work you do uh, in college newspapers or hopefully uh, after that uh, in journalism. All right, so that was Bob Woodward. Holy cow. I'm all done with sessions for the day. The last one was really cool. It was all about Google News. My favorite part of that is um, he said that as a journalist, you can't seek perfection. Like, you can't achieve perfection. All you can do is do your best, and that's your job. Fountains on the floor that are beautiful. There's like exotic plants.
This one is called My Children. It frightens me. checking this place out. It was so beautiful. If you're in DC, you gotta come here. We're now off to see who wants dinner and to go get dinner because I'm starving. Uh, there was also a painting where like I was walking by the room and then I like stopped and had to go back and like look at the label because like it was just it grabbed me so quickly because it was like in this room of all of these old like founding father era pictures so they're all kind of like flat but very similar but there was this one that like looked like it was like popping out of the painting it was like so like 3d so like i went over and looked at it, it was, uh, a self-portrait by i think a guy named copley um and his thing was like he was able to create these like hyper realistic or for the time hyper realistic paintings Edward Snowden. Edward Snowden.